Hi everyone. This time I'd like to show you uh, our progress with firmware. Firmware M1 or Milestone 1, it's released at the end of last year and uh, in that one uh, the main goal was to support skippy commands and in the next <coughs> release in uh, M2 or Milestone 2 we are trying to add uh, support also for local control that means for this touch screen display M2 release it's almost finished and uh, I just want to show you how some control is organized, how pages on the screen is organized. What you see right now it's a main page and uh, that's something what you should have if everything is correct. That means that uh, both channels it's live and that is something what normally you can see when we start power supply okay so the organization of the main page is the following down there we have some options some buttons like system settings user profiles information about power supply a lock it's not implemented yet and some simple help there is a two section one is for the channel one and another one is for channel two all that section which is colored yellow it's interactive so this one is evidently not but let's say this one is or that one so this is a simple way how to switch on and off or if I want to set a new output voltage on the channel one I just go here or current on the second channel and so on also uh, each channel have uh, some important indicators about protections and that L rip means uh, low ripple mode I will cover that in separate video and channel settings which is something what is related the channel in this case channel 1 or channel 2 and on the top we have something what is called event viewer where you can see what's happened with in last I don't I think uh, hundred events which is important Okay, uh, let's continue with this section down there. So the system settings, you also see that only yellow is currently active or uh, you can do something with that. All that it's, it's disabled because it's not implemented in uh, M2 re revision, but it will be pretty soon. We here so currently we have just a set date and time, a channel calibration and touch screen calibration. Touch screen calibration will happen on the first startup when you need to calibrate a screen. It's very simple. You just need to do this. Okay, I don't want to save that, but this is important step at the beginning. Uh, in user profiles, you can go with up to 10 user-defined profiles. The zero or the first one, or profile zero, is a special one. This is something what is 
or it's called the power on uh, profile so uh, everything it's what is uh, what you are currently uh, changing will be saved in that one there is a <coughs> there is a possibility to define which one will be used or in during the power on stage so let's say i can for for instance uh, want to have uh, two channels with 12 volt uh, one amp and uh, over current protection uh, <coughs> i can just say recall and now it it's recalled you will see that and we also can say that this one will be used on at the beginning when we'll start up okay so something has happened uh, you can see that there is a 12 volt one amp on both of them but because i have some load connected that load obviously draw more, more than one amp and we get uh, over current protection and this is this is also automatically show in a red color in event view so i cannot simply turn it on again i need to clear this if i want to continue but of course I, if i try to to turn the channel on again I'll get the same problem so now it will works okay let's go back to profiles so there is some basic info you can put some remark about just for as a reminder and you can recall save or even delete something if you think that some of them doesn't matter anymore you can just delete it okay if I wait a few more seconds I'll be returned back to main page why is that uh, it is something what is intentionally added idea is to have all the time uh, that output values displayed and this is one of the rare uh, page without that this is uh, one and another one it's uh, event view you see this so if i wait a few more seconds i'll go back because there is no no information on that screen what's what's going on let's say here you will see The situation or here and so on okay the next one it's a system information power supply can count total on time this is a last on time so if I just switch it off this is something what will be reset to zero. Uh, this is a main sensor temperature. It's a approximation of internal temperature. Firmware is this one. This is the build uh, which is uh, related to GitHub. And there is more stuff like you can see a serial number what type of CPU board, the Ethernet, uh, channel boards and Skippy version. So this is it. This one is locked. This is uh, just text. And we can go back to output value settings. So let's say that I want to set uh, output voltage on the channel 1. As before we have three different a way to enter a number new new value I can do something like this or I can go with step like this or that so in left or we can go like this okay ok 
can go here, there, can go with a bigger step. Okay. And the third one it's like a slider where uh, when I'm on top it's it's bigger sensitivity and down there it's lower sensitivity. So here I can easily go to the maximum, but here it will be much slower. Something in between. Okay. Depends. Or if you just need something specific, this one is the easier way. Anyway, uh, it's idea that you have. It's very simple to go and set all output values. When output is turned on, there is additional indicator here. So you see this. We have additional LED indicator for constant voltage and constant current. There is some other, we can cover that later. And also a few things about channel. Settings, we have three tab down there. First one is protection. So we can clear or disable channel protection. There is a current protection, voltage, power and temperature. Uh, so all that protection uh, define you so for example for the power protection you can also limit output power you can define if power protection is activated you can see what is the current power it's zero because nothing is connected triple level so maximum uh, 20 watts and let's say after one sec now we can see that OPP it's activated here if I want to switch some off like this so all what is enabled it's currently shown in uh, green this is th that means that it's disabled and this is a tripped one this one it's without our current protection and it works fine okay let's go back to the settings of the channel uh, here we have some advanced settings here we have uh, three options one is low ripple mode where you can define if on that channel switching power pre-regulator will be switched on and off and that will decrease the uh, output noise here we can control remote sensing on the channel uh, since both channels have a small signal relay to connect internally remote sensing input with power outputs we can do that from here this indicator and you need to use external cable for connecting sensing input directly to the load and finally we have remote programming voltage on the output can be it's normally controlled via MCU from 0 to up to 40 volt but if we bring here some external signal 2.5 volt it's for the full range we can control output directly with that signal and 
the last tab it's about channel information again as for the complete power supply we have total on time and last on time temperature on the channel here we can enter calibration and we can select if calibrating parameters will be used on the channel or not so this is everything for this video thank you for your attention goodbye